Ability Demo. This is an upcoming feature that is a step towards the Movie Labs 2030 vision of modernizing uh, multimedia production. So this is a, a feature that sits on top of Golden Copy. You can see here on the left there's a new icon to launch it. This is the first workflow. Uh, there'll be several. And there's three simple steps. First is to pick your, your target cloud, so AWS in this case. When you log in, your access credentials are stored in your profile and it will automatically list only the S3 buckets that you have access to in the cloud. So we'll pick this one. When you select it, it lists the data in the bucket. And the purpose of this is to select data for some data operation. So we'll just click through here, browsing the bucket. Now it's using the credentials that I have stored in my profile. So whatever I can see here is based on my credentials. So project A. So I see a bunch of files. So in this case, I'd like to add these to my copy job. So I'll just say select all in my case and say add the job. And then I go to the next tab and I can see the files are all listed. I see the full path and I can remove a particular file from the job if I don't want it like this. Now I'm ready to run the job. So let's press this button and see what we get. So we've got a copy function. So copy from cloud to on-premise or I could move the data. So that's a copy then a delete or I could set up a sync, which will maintain a continuous relationship between an S3 bucket and some location on my file system on premise. So let's just make this a move. Email on completion. I don't want to have to monitor this job through the GUI, so it'll automatically email me. That's the email stored as part of your login profile. And then destination. So for end users, they may not have a full view of all the SMB shares that are used on the on-premise uh, file system. So basically, this will list the name of the SMB share, which of course you can have long share names in uh, PowerScale. So here we've named them, so the user has a very simple, easy to understand way to select where this data is going to show up. So I could do that. Hit submit. It would show up over here in the running jobs and then job history of which both of these are filtered so only the user uh, who's logged in can see the jobs that they have submitted either currently or the history of all the jobs that that particular user has submitted so this is an end user feature the goal here is to simplify data movement from on-prem to the cloud copy move sync this will be extended for other data flows that will include um, bucket to bucket operations and, and other workflows that users can multi tenant log into this and get a personalized view to go about their data mobility operations. Thanks for watching.